Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you how you can benefit from GodKey.io if you are selling ebooks, for example. How GodKey.io helps you manage releases and license key and update almost automatically. So let's go through the requirements. So here are the requi requirements. The customer makes a payment currently from uh, via PayPal, and then the ebook will be delivered automatically to the customer through email. And then if you release new version of the book, then the customer can get the, the new version without you have to, to send them. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to GodKey. And log in. So here I go to my rams and this is the RAM and click on view products here and I want to create a new product. So this is my product. Let me show you. It's this very simple ebook. Uh, and this is this is for example just an ebook. Overview of the Jupiter planet V1.0 very simple. So I'm going to create a new product. So and um, that's it. And then we have the product created here. Click on view. So for the ebook, you don't have you don't have a license type, but you still need to create one because in order to download the ebook, the user need to have an active license for the for the product. So owner, maybe something like that. Then this is more suitable when you use shopware when when you when you sell shopware. So for example, we have time credit here. What does that mean? That that means the license will expire after this day, after the purchase date, and you also can specify grace period, a trial trial period, which isn't really applied to ebook, but um, all other things, right? So I will specify is one here, but anyways, an ebook doesn't need an activation on any machine so yeah just input one here so also you can add the custom quotas so if you have a system somewhere you are a software developer then you can utilize this and here are some checkbox here and if you check these things then the user will get the product updates after the license expire so you have may have some reason to do that or do you want to offer support after the lesson expire so after like 365 days if the person contact you regarding your books or software and you can you want to offer support if you if you want you can take this so this is like a term and condition something and um, user can download after the license expires so maybe this is one time purchase so you can think of that yeah so there's one very important thing here this is we are selling through paypal so this is the id of your item on paypal this is the the core settings that makes the sending email automatically after the person make the purchase a few books so maybe I will Jupiter put it here overview 
a single purchase. And you need to copy this exactly. Okay. So create that that. And we have the license from book owners here. So the PayPal item ID is here is this. The next thing is to create a release, right? Because your product uh, an ebook or in the shop where you need to release. So I create a release, release version 1.0 and release version number always uh, greater than previous one you can put any number here integer so first release of Jupiter or oh, just just Jupiter overview this is important um, it will appear in the download link of your your product when you send over the email so since we have only one license here one license type here so it doesn't matter if you select this or not but if you have multiple license and there are some version you, you say that this release is for premium version then you can click and check the checkbox here and then I click on create okay so we have our release then I can now add the book oh just um, one more thing just just a minute so this is the one will appear okay will appear on the will appear on the email on the arrow link so not the delete description and you, you saw that unsupported file type so it just um, you need to convert to, to compress it so oh, yeah so now we have the yep so we have the the resource ready so next thing just got fix some email template so here I just need to send the email when the person make the payment so you can have some place order here and this should be enough for us to config the content of the email so just uh, one purchase then the email title is hello and first name okay first name thanks for purchasing yep proper name which is uh, the book okay so you can uh, can uh, write the content here so I need to get the the download link at least uh, not really I don't know so normally you would use this if you have multiple multiple releases or this will display as clickable links so anyways I will use this two last in key. Dear first name. Thanks for your purchase. Here is your book. Okay. So download link. And this is also this is your lesson key you can use to download, uh, download the latest version of the book okay best regard Jupiter owner okay this is okay okay looks good so make sure you check this if you don't check it then it will it will not be sent okay so I set the template and it seems we 
be out on highway. I need to license key. Okay, almost forgot. So the license key is here, and make sure you save the template. And that that's it. That's it on our side. And let me go to the last type and get this one. Now I'm going to to PayPal. Okay. So I'm using PayPal Sandbox just for the demonstration purposes, but it should work with PayPal. Uh, actual PayPal system because I'm using it on all of my products. So this is the merchant account. And this is where you will create the, the button with this ID. So click here, click on PayPal buttons and just a simple buy now would do. Okay. So by now, item name, this is, this is the item ID, okay? So this is important. So item name is Jupiter Overview Block, okay? Price, maybe 20. Yeah, something like that. And I don't need to specify anything else. Create the button and that's it. I will get the link here and okay, I paste it here. Yep. And one last thing you need to config the IPN so PayPal will know where to send the notification once the purchase is made. Yeah, this is a bit technical, but don't worry, I'll show you exactly how you can do that. So go back to your RAM. This is on the RAM level. Click on view here. And this is the IPN URL. I hide the the RAM the RAM API key here because it's important. If uh, this is this, if the RAM key is compromised then other people can use it to call the API on God key. So uh, it's, it's not dangerous to your PayPal, but somehow somebody will can use God key just like you. So be very careful with this. So I copy this and go back to my file on PayPal. So go settings here and go to notification and you update the IPN install instant payment notification. So this is uh, my key. Yep. So this is on the staging side just for demonstration purposes. So I have it set already. And uh, now let's try to make the purchase. But first, I need to log out. Okay. So now get the link. And paste it here. And we are going to buy the product as a customer. Enter my account here. My test account, of course. And this is the, the product. This is my account name. Anyways, I complete the purchase. And that's it. And now, go to my email and wait for the notification of my purchase. Just a little bit. And you see it here. Thank you for purchasing Jupyter Overview that is brought the product. This is the license key and I can click here to download the book. Okay. Yep. And you see, after config this system, 
you don't need to touch it. Of course, still the customer can ask you for support for your product, and that is our duty as a, a seller, as merchant, to support our customer. But anyways, you have the book here, and you can see the content exactly like that. Okay, so let's say you have you have made some revise of your product right because there's something not correct and you update it to version 1.1 so yep i'm going to save it as pdf and something like that it's for printing that's it i need to compress this again And go back to products view and create another release. So releases, I'm going to create a new one. One dot one and release version is two and revise content. Okay. Something like that. Simple like a git commit. Is here, which I should put it up here, anyways. At the resource, Jupiter overview new release 1.1, yeah, something like that. And this is it, create okay. So now, if the person how, how they can get the new version of the product if the person download this again it doesn't work because it is the link to the old version so what do you do you can go to product settings here and this is the link to the downloadable resources this is publicly accessible so you can send this link and to the email and said you can always download the latest version here something like that and i'm going back here copy the the email uh, the, the key paste it here and if the license key is valid when the, the user click here you should see the latest release here so i can simply click here and download the file and let's start let's just open this and sure enough this is the latest version so that is that is the full flow of how you can use god key to sell your your ebook but you can apply this to many other things too so i will create a, a video could be longer showing you how you can use god key to create license manage license release for software because this is where you need to activate the, the license manage the license maybe you want to limit the number of machines but that is for another video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video